Hello ladies and welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be talking about five different ways that you can install and style your clip-ins. So for our first look, we'll be doing a middle part and it's a relatively easy style to do. You just wanna go ahead and start to section your hair off. Uh, starting from the back, right around the top of your ear is where I start my first um, my first row of clips and gradually work my way towards the front of my head. One thing that I learned really quickly while doing this, it's better if you use your shorter pieces on the top, because if you try to bend the long pieces to go around like the curve of your head, sometimes you'll get some lumps in your clips. So that was just one thing that stood out to me that I did wanna share with you guys. Just a side note, these are some clip-ins that I have been playing with um, on more than one occasion, obviously. And if you notice some chippiness at the bottom, it's because I have cut them when I had them in for a different style. And I don't want to cut them anymore. I'm probably going to just even them up at some point, but that is why they look choppy at the bottom, just in case, you know, you noticed. So now we're moving into our second look, which is going to be a side part. For this look, I did not remove all of the clip-ins, but just the top two, um, because the middle part and the side part placement in the back is pretty much the same. But I did take out the top two uh, rows, and I'm going to put them back in and just switch my part into another direction.
Now that we've got the side part in place, I'm gonna take our edge tamer that you can find on our website, monicanicolehair.com, and we're gonna apply that to silk out those edges. By the way, these are our Lux clip-ins. Um, they will be available on our site probably by the time this video is posted. And our Lux clip-ins are 200 grams, which basically is the equivalent of about two bundles. Um, so yeah, if you are looking for a nice set of clip-ins um, to give you a lot of volume, I'll say that they do give more volume because they are thicker, then definitely uh, check out our Lux clip-ins on our website. So next we're moving into this I don't know, I call it like a mini half up, but, or it's just kind of pulled back in the front. Um, so this is another look that I like to wear. So I just want to show it to you guys. And again, I didn't have to take out all of the clips, but just the ones on the top to create this look. One thing that I did learn as I was doing this uh, particular style, or notice, I ain't gonna say I learned it, but I noticed it because I just did it wrong. Um, whenever you're doing this, you always wanna use your shortest clip in closer to the ponytail, and that will alleviate or minimize the little lump that you get in the back um, as you're doing the clip in. So I should have used like the more narrow clip in first and then went out with the wider clip in because it fits the way that the head lays. Um, so that is one thing that I noticed and if you continue watching this video when you get to the ponytail You'll see that I actually did do it differently So we're now getting into our actual half up half down um, Now I will tell y'all because my hair is short, it's very difficult sometimes to blend the clip-ins. If your hair is shorter and you're using a longer set of clip-ins, I do recommend maybe using a shorter set of clip-ins. So these are 18 inch um, for hair this length. Technically 14, 16. The longer it is, the harder it is to blend and my hair is cut very bluntly. So that also will make it more difficult to blend your clip-ins. So for this look, when I finish, I notice well, one thing is that I should have um, allowed a little bit more, a little bit less leave out on my top row in the back because you will see a line of demarcation where my hair stops and the clip-in starts at the end. Um, also, when I did the top, um, and I'll add this, this, you saw it probably in the intro, but also in the next clip where we get to the ponytail, if your hair is short and you're doing a clip-in style with some longer clip-ins, it also will blend better if you put curls in it. And so you'll see like when I get to the next clip, I'm going to put this ponytail in straight, but there will be a pop-up where it's curly and it blends so much easier with my short hair. So again, we're gonna make a ponytail in the top. And once you get your actual hair in the ponytail, that's when you're gonna grab your smaller set of clip-ins or your smaller, shorter length, um, shorter width. The little baby one, yeah, that's the one. You're gonna uh, go ahead and put that one in first and then you'll come in with the ones that are a little bit, little bit more wide and add those because they'll fit the width of your head better. Um, so that is one takeaway that'll kind of eliminate you from having a lump at the top of your ponytail.
just because I have the little spiking going on because my hair is short. One thing that you can do to alleviate that again is to wear it curly. Um, putting curls in it will help to blend it better. Uh, for me, I'm just gonna wrap it in a little bun. Um, you could also maybe add some hairpins to it or some wax to it to kind of help it not look so spiky. I personally don't mind the little spikiness. I don't, I mean, for me, I will wear it spiky. I don't care, but I'm sure that most people want it kind of smooth. So using some hairpins or some type of wax stick or putting curls in it is a nice way to get rid of the spikiness. But in total honesty and transparency, the longer your hair is and the thicker it is, the easier it will be to do these styles that I'm doing. Um, I was just seeing how creative or how much versatility I could have, even though my hair is short. And so this last look that we're moving into is a ponytail. And again, you'll see <clears throat> a pop up here shortly, um, of the difference of when it's straight and when it's curly and how it blends so much better when it's curly if you have short hair. I hope this was helpful for you guys. And yes, y'all, sometimes she is so dramatic. But thank you so much for watching. And please like, comment, and subscribe.